Okay, so let's just talk about substrate concentration and its effect on rates of enzyme reaction. So remember that what we're talking about, Stormlock Pac-Man again, uh, we're talking about successful collisions with our substrate. So, you know, it really isn't rocket science. If we've got loads and loads and loads of substrate knocking around in our solution, it's really likely that there's going to be a a, a successful collision. So if we're looking at the rate of reaction, that, react, that rate of reaction, the more substrate there is, the more collisions we're going to get, the more successful collisions. But then it does something weird and it kind of levels off. Now the reason that it would level off would be that all of the enzymes in the solution are full all of the time. It's like, you know, they're constantly, if you were completely surrounded by mini Mars bars, there would be a point at which you really couldn't cram any more in. You couldn't eat them fast enough and uh, you could pick up as many as you wanted, but you can only fit one in your mouth at a time and once your mouth's full all of the time, you can't eat them any faster, is the bottom line. So, what I would like to point out here is that this is the maximum rate. This is when the reaction is going at its fastest. It isn't stopping, it's going at its maximum rate. It's going as fast as it possibly can. It, eating the Mars bar thing. You're eating them as fast as you possibly can. Probably not making too much of a dent on them either. So maximum rate here, we're not at the maximum rate here, the rate is limited, can't spell limited, two teeth perhaps, uh, limited by the substrate concentration. And I'm just using these little square brackets here uh, instead of writing concentration out. This is the maximum rate, so uh, we're not limited by how much substrate we've got, we're limited by how much enzyme we've got. So here, the rate is limited, oh, it still looks wrong, by the enzyme concentration. And all the active sites are full all the time. So increasing the substrate makes the rate go up not one whit. Now how else you might see this? Um, if you think about it, as a reaction progresses, you're starting off with your enzyme and your substrate and you're ending up with product. So when you very start, when you very first start a reaction, so if we have time along there and say substrate concentration, What we're going to get is a line that goes down. So as the substrate gets used up, it's going to go, uh, you're going to go have less and less and less of it. And when you've completely run out of substrate, it's all been made into product. So actually, at the start of a reaction, you've got the highest substrate concentration. So if you think about it, you're in your maximum rate. And it might stay at its maximum rate for quite some time before it starts to drop. So the other thing that you'll sometimes see is, and I'm just going to add this to this graph, you might see a rate of reaction graph against time, or you might see a um, volume of oxygen released per whatever and it might start off like that and then go down so it'll look like this one but backwards and that's because here you've got your highest substrate you've got your active sites full all of the time as your substrate decreases so will your rate of reaction decrease and it will stop the reaction will stop when your product is gone so one thing to look for on your x-axis might be time. 
so let me just finish off quickly with enzyme concentration. So enzyme concentration, you're looking pretty much the same sort of thing. So if we're looking at increasing the enzyme concentration against the rate of reaction, assuming that you've got unlimited substrate, the more enzyme you've got, the more likely it is to uh, collide with the substrate and you just get a straight line graph. It's only when you run out of, uh, you know, the substrate becomes limiting that it would level off. So that's pretty much, you're least likely to be asked about that, I think. Um, again, do watch out for those time graphs. So enzyme will limit um, a, a reaction because the substrate concentration has gone down effectively. So, um, yeah, you just need to watch out for time graphs and rates and time graphs and mass of product. But pretty much, the more enzyme you've got, the more successful collisions you'll have, it's more likely that you'll get a successful collision. Okay, enjoy.